Oh, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Pat Rel. Today episode of Rel, I'm going to start talking about my model railway layout project that I've ever reveal in my RAL episode 5 I have planned to have a proper layout for my model railway that fits in my new house since the house was built so here you can say the baseboard for my model layout I think it's big but compared to other British model railway on other YouTube channels we can say it's just a small size well, let's start with my baseboard story. The baseboard is made of lumber wood on top and pine wood as the supporting frame. The rubber wood has 10 mm thickness. The overall dimensions of my baseboard for modern layout is 220 cm wide and 310 cm long or is around 7 feet wide 10 feet long I didn't make it myself but I ordered with this guy in Bangkok you can visit and contact him on his Facebook a few layout builders in Thailand such as the trains by um, Mr. Jin, you can also visit his page on Facebook or a model shop in Bangkok like Model Railroad Siam. They also can recommend you the layout builders. Thailand is a famous place of termites, so after the baseboard models were delivered, I apply a protective coat against termites on the baseboard before using it. After I got this baseboard, I had to think about legs and the height I wanted. I prefer to use something available in the market and I came across IKEA legs for a table. It also has a view with a lock to keep them in place or move when needed. However, this leg is designed for working table with 70-80 cm high from the floor that is the OK level. But the joy in this hobby is you can see the detail on the model layout on the eye level so I need to lift the baseboard up and I prefer to have around 90 centimeters from the ground as the minimum I have made these wooden boxes under the baseboard structure and connect with these supporting legs to the height I wanted. The baseboard is designed to have four sections. After attaching the legs, I screw up all sections together to become this layout.
The light I use in this room for the model layout is also from IKEA, but it has already terminated from the production line. I'm not sure why, but I like it. Let's see if the light is enough for my layout. Next episode of my layout story, I will talk about the tech plan. Stay tuned. If you enjoy my video clip, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment in below. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.